The custom HTML block allows you to insert your custom code in your uh, Gutenberg editor anywhere as a block. So you get this kind of uh, block which has an HTML view and a preview. So this can be useful for my different use cases. For example, here I'm uh, I've added a custom HTML code provided by the Mailchimp uh, for embedding the subscribe form so suppose you don't have a plugin for wordpress that allows you to integrate something from an external service so in this case you can directly put your html code or whatever code they provide um, to include that on your website so you can simply uh, take a custom html block put the code and that's it it gives you this uh, the whole output of what is being as expected by the mailchimp so this is just one use case, uh, one one use case, and there are multiple use cases that where you can use this block. So let's see how to add it and how to use it. To add a custom HTML block, there are a the few different ways. Like any other block, you can either uh, click on the plus icon and search for HTML or custom HTML, whatever, and it gives you this block, and you add it. Uh, this is how it looks at first, which has two views, HTML and preview. So uh, you can just write, put your code once you want, uh, when you are in the HTML view. So make sure you are in HTML view and then you write or put your HTML code. Mm, there is another way you can add the blog by typing a forward slash in an empty paragraph blog and type HTML and it gives you the suggestion. Just click on this and the blog will be added so these are the ways you can add the blog now let's see what options we have for the html block or custom html block in the toolbar so as usual the first two options are basically allows you to trust the first one is uh, allows you to transform this block to another block type so for example i can transform this to a code block type but this will be useful if you want to display this custom code for your users but if you want this to actually render the output of this HTML, you will need the custom HTML blog, and for that case, we will convert it back to a custom HTML. So for the output, it will display this to the end user. I'll show you just now, rather than the code itself. So the HTML custom HTML blog displays the preview output on the front end, and the code blog previews the code itself. Are read as readable or copyable on the front end so this is the difference between these two blocks so the next option is uh, are the mover icons which are available on all the blocks you can click and move the block up and down or you can hold from here and grab drag and drop the block to the position where you need and just release it then these are the options very useful actually that these are the main options you can you need to click on the html view and put your html code here and if you want to preview it you can uh, look into the click on the preview option so this shows you how it looks on the front end or what is the output uh, users will see on the front end so these are the options in the toolbar uh, top toolbar in the sidebar we have nothing for the custom html block so there's nothing as this is a really specific block which has no options in the sidebar that's it for the custom html block i hope i've covered everything if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments thanks for watching take care